With all of this gun violence, lawmakers and gun safety advocates rallied in Grand Rapids today to remember victims. 13 Your Signs, Josh Albertus was at that rally at Rosa Parks Circle today. So Josh, what were they saying? In the last few months, the state has moved quickly on gun reform measures some say will help protect Michiganders. But as we've seen, mass shootings continue around the country and that rash of gun violence here in the Grand Rapids area in recent days. Some say there's still much to do. Virginia Tech University, 2007. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, 2018. The Covenant School, 2023. Mourners and activists gathered on Saturday in Grand Rapids to remember the names and the memories of those lost to gun violence in America. Jessica Ricos, 6. Christopher Ross Michaels Martinez, 20. Stephen Kerno, 14. The rally came on the heels of another mass shooting in Texas that killed five people and multiple shootings in the Grand Rapids area that left three people dead in the last three days. When I speak to West Michigan students and parents, the issue comes up almost every single time. Whether or not they're lawful gun owners, they consistently bring up gun violence as something that impacts them, their families, and their communities. Those gathered also kept focus on the victims of the February 13th mass shooting that rocked the Michigan State University community and set off new calls for change across the state. Ryan, Alexandria, and Ariel, I encourage you all after today, I don't want you to think of them as the three victims for MSU. I want you to think of them as human. They were daughters, they were sons, they were cousins, they were grandchildren. They were friends, they were leaders. Calls for change in the months following have resulted in a flurry of new laws that state legislators and gun safety advocates have said will help make the state a safer place. We passed universal background checks. We passed safe storage laws to keep firearms out of the hands of children and red flag laws so that when someone is a threat to themselves or others, law enforcement and the judicial system can take action to keep firearms out of the equation. But for those at the rally personally touched by gun violence, they said more can and must be done as Grand Rapids, Michigan and the United States continue to grapple with the persistent presence of mass shootings. We need to go beyond the bare minimum. Us as Americans have been conditioned to accept the bare minimum, but we can't do that anymore. It is a safety issue. It is the it's the choice between life and death, the bare minimum. We need to go further in Grand Rapids. Josh Albertus, 13 on your side.